Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video, we will be concluding our lesson four prove assignment. Uh, so we ended the prove, the week four prove intro video uh, with this stuff being outputted. Okay, so good start. And so we're gonna go ahead and finish up this last chunk right now. Uh, so let's do that. So we have a payment amount equals, and then we have an input here. Um, this needs to be a float, so let's put float there, and then input, uh, we'll need a closing parenthesis there, and then I'll say, uh, what is the payment amount, question mark, won't forget that again. All right, what's the payment amount? We assign that to payment amount, and then change. So we'll say print format uh, change. And let's do some math here. We'll just say um, total. I never saved total. So let's go back here. I don't wanna have to do this math twice. Okay, so I'm gonna say total equals this. And then I'll just use the variable total right here. Okay. Um, and then right here, I'll say total minus um, change or minus payment amount. Okay. And then this whole thing I'm going to put into parentheses. And then after that's computed, I'm going to round uh, to two decimal places for their change. Okay. Uh, let's see if that works. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run this. So just up arrow, uh, price of a child's meal. Uh, I'm gonna use the same numbers as this one this time. Make sure that we have this working. So 2.25, 6.69, whoops, 6.99, uh, 214, uh, 1149.46, 11.95. Oop, I see a difference. Uh, this needs a dollar sign at total. Right there, okay. Uh, what is the payment amount is 20 and the change is negative 8.05, which does not look like that. Um, so let's do this. These need to be swapped. Okay. So we'll put payment amount right here minus the total to get them some change. And then I need a dollar sign right there as well. Okay, all right, let's try this one more time. Okay, 2.25, oops, 6.99, 214, that all looks great. And then 20 and change is $8.05. Okay, so that looks great. Uh, let's keep going, make it your own. Uh, you can add anything else to the meal, such as drinks, appetizers, tip percentage, or anything else you can think of. Play around with different ideas and see what you can learn. And then we show the final requirements here. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll say, let's go ahead and add a tip. I think that sounds nice. Um, so to add a tip, let's at least give them an option if they want a tip or not. Uh, we won't go too far into this. Uh, I guess we could give them an amount that they would like to tip. That'd be kind of cool. Let's do that. All right, so um, here's the change. So here we have our total printing. Uh, and then right here, I'm going to have an input. And I'll say uh, to tip. I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to. OK, uh, let's just say um, will tip equals and we'll have just an input say um, uh, what percentage would you like to tip and then let's make this a float all right and so let's say they give us like 10 percent uh, then let's go ahead and say uh, tip amount equals uh, uh, this we'll call tip percentage. 
and tip amount equals tip percentage um, times total divided by 100. Just like we did up there with the tax amount. Now we're just adding a tip onto there on top of tax. We, we tip on stuff like that. Okay, so uh, we have a tip amount. There's our tip percentage, whatever they gave us. And then we'll go ahead and add that. Um, so now I'll say uh, total with tip equals total plus tip amount. Okay, let me break this up just a little bit to make it more clear for us to see. Uh, so we have our tax amount and our total and then we have our tip section. Okay, and then we have our total with tip and let's go ahead and print that and we'll say uh, total price with tip included and our variable is called total with tip, that one. Okay, and let's format this nicely like our other numbers. Put a dollar sign there. So that's our total price with tip and then payment amount. Float, what is the payment amount? And right here, instead of subtracting the total, I'm gonna subtract the total with tip. All right, let's try it and see if it works. Let me add one more comment here. Payment amount with change. Okay, uh, up arrow, enter. And let's come over here. I'm gonna move that to that side. And I'm gonna copy one of these again just to make sure our math is still good. 2.25, 6.992, 1, sales tax rate is four. So that also looks good. Uh, would you, uh, what percentage would you like to tip? Let's do 10%. Uh, so this will add roughly a buck 95, right? Uh, so price included with tip is 1394. And then what is the payment amount? Let's pay 20 bucks. So that still worked. Um, so let's add one more thing. One thing that I wanted to see in there was uh, the total with tip. Let's go ahead and print up the tip price also. So I'm just gonna say print uh, format and I'll say tip amount and have a variable called tip amount and I'll put that right there okay let's try that one more time uh, up arrow okay so 2.25 6.992 that looks good we want to do 10 percent 1.19496 that sounds right okay and then we add that on there which is 13.14 that looks good and what is the payment amount we'll pay 15 bucks and our changes at buck 86. Okay, sweet. So there's my stretch challenge. Um, I'll look forward to seeing your guys's. And if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Thanks.